Good evening. Parents of students at Fort Wayne Community Schools shouldn't expect to get their children's I-STEP scores back. Because computer glitches disrupted testing, the district's rejecting this year's test. News Channel 15's Randy Spieth spent the day talking to the district's leaders, and he joins us now with more. Randy? Mark and Heather, FWCS doesn't plan on sending test scores home until an independent company can review the test and determine if the scores are valid. Schools are given strict rules when giving students the I-STEP and have to make sure there are no distractions when taking it. FWCS officials say they want the company that provides the test to be held to the same standard. There were serious issues with this round of I-STEP testing. It's been close to a month since I-STEP testing took place across the state. During its first two days, glitches forced 12,000 FWCS students and thousands more across Indiana to stop testing. They had geared up for this all year. They'd prepped, they'd practiced, they're ready to go. And then the day it actually happens, the thing's freezing and kids are crying and the teachers are freaking out. <laughs> CTB McGraw Hill is the company that runs the computerized test. The results of the I-STEP play a big role in determining how well a school is doing. It's part of um, teacher evaluation systems. It's part of our letter grade and it gets tied into funding. It's throwing a real wrench into all of those evaluation systems and compensation systems. Al Jackway represents 2,000 FWCS teachers. They're unhappy that it happened, but they're not unhappy that it happened because it brought to the attention that this is really a flawed system. Leaders at the state's largest district now hope that the heirs have gotten the attention of state legislators, who they hope will make changes to prevent future heirs. Is this really how we want to judge the success of our schools by this one measure that clearly can fall apart. FWCS is encouraging other districts to join its efforts. So far, leaders do not know any other district that's also rejecting the scores. Superintendent of Public Instruction Glenna Ritz has also recommended an independent third party review the test results. Randy Spieth, News Channel 15.